Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Today in our edition of Stretch the Sketch, we are using this grid layout from Page Maps. And I'm really excited about using a grid layout. I don't do it very often, but I really love how they look. And so I decided to stretch mine to be a double page layout. And this is something I do often, and that is because I have a lot of photos from when my kids are little, and I want to use as many of them as possible. And I don't have big stories for all of those events that we attended. Um, so I want to get as many on the page as I can so there's a good representation of what their childhood was like. So these particular pictures are not of my kids when they were little. They happen to be of my husband and I with some of our wonderful friends at their house for dinner just a couple weeks ago. So I wanted to make sure that I captured that and I wanted to do it right away and I thought they were the perfect photos for this particular layout. Now I am going to take a, uh, an, about an eighth of an inch of paper off of three sides of the grid paper that you see me working with right there so that I can have a black border on th the three outer edges. I want my grid paper to meet up in the middle with the other page so that it looks like my layout just stretches all the way across. I don't want to have a gap in the middle or the black border to separate the two and um, sometimes I will do that but in this case I wanted it to stretch all the way across. And here I am going to go ahead and do the same on the other one, but I put my adhesive down and forgot that I hadn't even cut my paper, and that happens. I was really just not really in my right mind um, when I was working on this, and you'll see that right here when I'm trying to decide where to cut this other floral paper. I'm going to try and cut it in half and I measure it and I then I even pull out my centering ruler and measure it so that I know where the half mark is. I still don't get it perfectly. In the end I do finally get it right and it looks fine. So this floral paper just came out of my scrap bin and it's been in there for quite a while. I think this came out of an old click kit that I had uh, several from several years ago and the the cards, the Project Life cards, I'm not even sure where I got those. They probably were in one of those same kits um, because it's not something that I would have bought as a kit of Project Life cards. I don't do Project Life um, regularly. I, I might use them pocket pages for a particular trip album or something like that, but um, otherwise I don't typically buy Project Life cards. So these came with something and they all seem to match. Um, I don't know that they came all together, but they all seem to match and they all looked really good. I went ahead and took about an eighth of an inch off of all of the sides of those top three cards. And then the bottom ones, I cut them to match the same size as those photos, which are about two inches tall. And then about... Um, four inches across so I cut them to match and then I backed everything with that black cardstock that I had out of the gutted centers of the border pieces. Now I'm just using this really old washi tape and I'm going to use that as a border around the floral paper and you can see there in the sketch it does have a border below the polka dot paper that stretches across and I'm my paper my Floral paper is not going to go all the way across the entire 12 by 12. Since I am using a double page layout, it's going to span the two and then it's going to be a couple inches in from the outer edges. I decided to go ahead and use the black washi tape. It's got a scallop on it and I, I really liked how it looked and I like how it differentiated between the grid paper in the background and the floral paper. So I decided to go ahead and frame that floral paper in the washi tape and I really, I just really like how it looks. I love the black with the white and the black with the cream and I don't have any problems mixing black and cream, I'm sorry, white and, white and cream. It doesn't bother me at all. So, um, and I really like how it looks in this and there's a lot of those creams and whites in the photos so it works out perfectly. I think the key is if you're going to mix them, use a, a lot of both so it looks like it's supposed to be there. And I really like the 
three by four cards also. One of them says just chill, and I think, think that was perfect. It has blue popsicles on it. We didn't have popsicles, but we did have root beer floats, and um, it was really fun. My, my friend, she had commented that she told her daughter what we were going to do for dinner, and her, her daughter made the comment that we were like having a meal like a five, five-year-old's, which I thought was really funny because we did make our own pizzas. We made little tiny personal pizzas, and then we had root beer floats as well. There was um, plenty of wine and salad to go along with it, so it wasn't all a five-year-old meal. But um, it was a lot of fun, and it was fun just to, just to celebrate them in their new kitchen and to get together as friends because we don't do that quite often enough. Um, and we really want to make it a point to get together more frequently. So in order to miter the corner of the washi tape, you saw me take out my ruler there and I just made a pencil mark. And since the washi tape sticks together, I could just pull it up and cut it with my scissors and lay it back down and it worked out perfectly. The miters are all perfect. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. You could have your washi tape crisscross and um, it would look fine as well. But I really wanted to keep a clean look on this particular layout. And I had toyed with the idea of doing some, some mixed media and such, but in the end I decided just to keep it really clean and really fresh looking. And in order to do that, I kept my corners all nice and neat. Um, and so I really like how it came out. Now the 3x4 card on the right hand side there, that's going to be where my title goes. And that is um, similar to what's in the layout. It has the title on a 3x4 card. And um, then there is a card, the card that's right underneath the polka dot one is going to hold my journaling. And I don't have a ton of journaling to add to it, so it's perfect. You're going to see I'm going to add lines to it with my pencil and then do my journaling. Oftentimes I don't even make pencil marks for the lines because I'm pretty good about staying straight but like I said since this was really like a very clean layout and everything was very straight um, in fact the grid paper in the background made it really easy to line up all my cards. Um, I wanted to make sure I was perfectly horizontal in my writing and not sloping off to the you know downward or upward. So now I'm working on my embellishment areas on the top and bottom of the page there and I'm just using more of that same black washi tape and you saw me pull it off because I had it upside down. I want the scallops all going towards the inside of the layout for the two embellishments, embellishment areas and then for this section of washi that is around all of the the paper that's floral, I wanted the scallops going towards the outside. Now I've pulled out two different sets of thickers and my title is going to read Pizza Party, at least that's what I think it's going to read, but when I pu pull out my embellishments I'm going to add to it and I really like how it came out. That is going to be one of my embellishment areas and I think a lot of times you can make your title an embellishment area and it looks really nice. Um, you don't have to have you know three embellishment areas including your title. You can use your title as one of those. In fact you don't even have to have three embellishment areas if you want. In this particular case I am going to have four embellishment areas. So I'm going to have the pizza party area, a little section where on the words hello today, and then the two that are going off the edge of the paper. So I wanted to also mention that this is a stretch the sketch video hop so if you would check the comments down below and see that there are several other ladies playing along and we have some new um, some new ladies playing along with us th this month and hopefully they'll be joining us for quite a while. So check them out. If you go down to the comments the links will be down there for you and you'll see how they've stretched the sketch. They may not have done a double page layout. They might have done a traveler's notebook or an eight and a half by eleven or a six by twelve or nine by twelve, eight by eight, who knows. Um, in fact I've even done a card as one of my stretch to sketch videos before so you never know what you're gonna find and it's it's all very fun and very exciting to see how everybody interprets the sketch differently. 
So check those out. And we do this every month, usually the third Sunday of the month, so be on the lookout for those as well. I have these foam stickers. One of them says awesome and one of them says friends. And they've got arrows pointing in towards the layout, so that kind of made the decision on where they were going. And I really didn't like how they looked with the black under them or the grid under them, so I pulled out this turquoise washi tape that has stars on it and stuck that under them. And then I'm adding some gold details, and that is because the section that is the embellishment that's above the words pizza party says love this, and love is with gold, and this is in the turquoise. So I wanted to pull in more of that gold. And then these little black letter stickers, not letter stickers, phrase stickers, um, the one that's going under the words pizza party says best thing I ate today. And the other one says remember this. And that's over uh, on the hello today card. And I, <laughs> I think these are for planners. I don't really do any planner creative planning or anything like that. So um, trying to get them on my layout some of them don't really apply, but I thought best thing I ate today was, was perfect, so I wanted to go ahead and use that and get that on the layout. And I really like how it underscores Pizza Party and gives a little bit of a bold flair to that card. Now I'm using some puffy stars from Bella Boulevard, and I'm going to add those to my embellishment areas. And I know I said I wasn't doing any mixed media on this layout, but I did end up pulling out my Heidi Swap Color Shine and sprinkling a little bit in turquoise and uh, green. And I think, I want to say the colors are ocean and patina, but I don't quote me on that. I don't know 100%. So um, I did sprinkle those around onto the grid paper. It does still give you a clean look. Um, which is what I was really going for on this, but it added a little bit of interest and sparkle to the page, which I really like. So my journaling reads, we were invited over for a fun dinner in the new kitchen Stephen and Lisa had put in. We were surprised with make your own pizzas and root beer floats. Wine and salad and appetizers were plentiful, but the best part was the conversation and the time spent with friends. And that's just about going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to take a look at the ladies down below. Like I mentioned before, there are some new people joining us this month and uh, leave some comments and some love for them as well. If you have questions or comments for me, you can leave them down below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, thanks so much for spending your time with me. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Stick around for the close-ups. They're coming up in just a few moments.